What up, though, Lions fans, One Pride family, everybody that's out there, uh, from D DSA to DVE, uh, to the outsiders, to everybody who watched this, all the individual Lions YouTubers. What's up from your boy? Um, today, I want to talk about training camp so far in Texas. Uh, today was uh, day two. Um, first and foremost, let it be noted that they're out there playing in 90 plus degree weather, which always sucks. Um, but yeah, as far as yesterday went, yesterday went well. Uh, had slight a bit of a scare um, with TJ Hawkinson. He got poked in the eye yesterday, so um, but he's fine. Um, you know, it happens. Going for a, a red zone uh, touchdown he was trying to get, so. Um, but as far as Matthew Stafford yesterday, Matthew Stafford was very, very sharp yesterday. Um, but today, without veterans, uh, he had a few of the guys who were trying to make the roster. Uh, you know, with Tommy Lee and, um, you know, at, at the slot. Also, uh, Kennedy at the slot. So, um, he threw two picks to those two within three plays. Uh, and that, that absolutely points out communication issues. Um, you know, it's not mechanics, it's, it's communications. You got, you got guys out there that you have no type of chemistry with, uh, those type of things, they definitely can happen. Uh, but they were, you know, I guess hell bent on getting this play down for some reason, because it was, it was two plays to the slot that got picked off, uh, within three plays. So, uh, got to get communication with them guys. And that thing, that's what the Lions are focused on right now. Uh, taking a really long look at these guys trying to make the roster, um, you know, the, the, the second and the third stringers is, um, pretty much the focus. Uh, a lot of veterans, uh, didn't make the trip today. Marvin Jones was one of them. Um, him, Amadola also didn't, uh, practice today. Um, Snacks Harris is, is off the NFI list, uh, which we all expected. Um, he practiced today. Um, but other than that, that was pretty much it as far as, um, you know, Today when well, no big news, but Ty Johnson, um, I know a lot of y'all <laughs> getting tired of me saying his name, but I can't help it, dude. Dude is, dude is just, I mean, since the beginning, he's been showing that he absolutely uh, can help this team in, in certain areas, man, and, you know, probably help produce some wins out. So, uh, like I said, you know, <laughs> the kid is fast uh, in the show today. He was absolutely dominant again today. Um, you probably see a heavy dose of him again, uh, you know, preseason uh, Saturday. So, um, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Um, as far as the receivers go, man, uh, listen, one of them, the, the receivers that I want to have that either fourth or fifth spot is definitely Chris Lacey. I would definitely have Brandon Powell and Chris Lacey, uh, but Chris Lacey has definitely been making a lot of noise. Um, over this this past uh, week or so, so, um, but just you know from what I've seen uh, going to training camp in, in the past, I definitely would keep Chris Lacey. Um, you know Andy Jones, I'm not fond of. Like I said last season, I felt like he dropped a, a lot of easy balls. He dropped some uh, passes uh, in training camp. He dropped one in the preseason game. We don't have time for that. Uh, you know Andy Jones has he's had his opportunities. Um, but Chris Lacey, Chris Lacey is definitely a guy that I want to see make this roster um, and potentially get, you know, some one of those last spots because he's making some pretty uh, incredible plays according to the uh, stories of training camp that I'm reading so, um, and what I've seen myself. So uh, another guy uh, that I want to keep an eye on is uh, Kevin Strong. Uh, Kevin Strong, man. Uh, his story is interesting. I watched his story. Um, his dad is, uh, he has cancer, um, you know, so it keeps Kevin Strong uh, motivated. But as a D lineman, man, he, you know, in college, yeah, he went to a, a small, smaller college, man, but, you know, he produced. He produced year after year, so, um, and it was consistent, so. You know, tackle for a loss. So, um, you know, being able to get to the backfield, stuff the runner, and you know, get some sacks, and he did. He did a pretty light, uh, pretty nice uh, uh, variety of things, man. Uh, as far as putting some pressure on the quarterback, 
and getting in that backfield. Um, he has all the tools. He has the size. Uh, will the Lions be able to coach him up, and will he have a shot? That is a big question mark. Um, it's not looking great, obviously, because of who he has in front of him, obviously. But for the practice squad, I definitely wouldn't mind having him. Um, but y'all need to look into that young man, uh, Kevin Strong. I tweeted out yesterday uh, some of his uh, clips um, just from YouTube for the lazy folks out there. <laughs> but uh, he got some articles out there, some pretty interesting articles, man. Um, something good to read about the young man. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely out there. Uh, scorching heat right now with the Texans, man. The Texans look like they probably won today's practice because they lost yesterday. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this next game, man, to get to the taste of that first game out of my mouth. Um, you know, it was not a, absolutely not fun to watch. Um, but, you know, it's preseason, man. It's preseason. You got guys trying to make the roster out there. It's learning curves from some guys. Your second unit needed that. They need. Listen, I am one of the few people that is all for the Lions getting stumped in the preseason. You know why? Because in order for them to make the proper adjustments before the actual season starts, it needs to happen. They need to get stumped now. You see what I'm saying? If, if anything is going to happen, let it happen right now. Um, we don't want the, the Jets game all over again like last season. Let the learning curves happen now during training camp, during preseason. That's what you want to see. You want to see those hiccups, man, so they can adjust it and get it fixed, so they can nip it in the bud now. That's what you want to see. Um, you don't want to just see all beautiful plays uh, during preseason, man. You want to see, hey, man, what's our issues? What do we need to fix what do we need to shore up before we go into the season? That's what you're looking for. That's I'm probably sure that's what the Lions are looking for um, as far as the coaching staff. That's why these young guys are getting so many reps right now. Um, they're being smart by resting guys, um, leaving a few guys behind. Mike Daniels was another one they left behind. Uh, he is literally a, a day-to-day -day situation, uh, Matt Patricia said. So um they want to be smart with guys like him and marvin jones and them and keep them uh here in our training facilities with our our team uh physicians man and um you know get them healthy and get them ready to go we we, we thinking uh get ready for the season right now so uh, you got to be smart man you don't want to have uh a lot of your veterans out there and scorching heat like that consistently and they've had a, quite a load over training camp already um, you got to get those guys some type of rest or break. We've seen it with Matthew Stafford also, uh, which I was really happy about. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, as far as training camp go, that's uh, pretty much it, man. Um, haven't really heard anything about the Lion battles. That's one thing I haven't got, got to report on. But uh, as far as uh, individual um, players, it's a lot out there available. Y'all need to definitely do your research. Like I say, I tell people all the time, you want to go and download the Bleacher Report app. You want to download uh, another app also called The Score. You want to get that too. They have news updates on there too. Um, and you definitely want to have Lions Extra. Um, for all things Lions, man, they have some pretty um, you know, swift alerts out there when things happen i like that app a lot so y'all definitely want to check that out as well man those are three of the apps i use on top of twitter um and a few websites i check so um those are some sources for y'all to get some good information see what's really going on on the top instead of uh getting an alert from somewhere else and it doesn't have no type of fluidity to it man it's um you know premature so um yeah do you do you do your your study? <laughs> um, but other than that, that's all I got. I appreciate each and every one of y'all uh, for taking the time to watch this video, man. And I uh, hope you got some information that you was looking for. Um, you know, like I said, it's it's definitely been fun um, over these last couple of months with you guys, man. Y'all been supporting the hell out of your, your boy, man, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all. So, um, yeah. So, once again, peace to everybody out there. Y'all have a blessed day. Everybody stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all later.